The following is a production of Corrupted Entertainment in association with The Joe Cronin Show. Listen to other episodes and shows on youtube.com slash corrupted podcast. Due to the fact that YouTube has demonetized most of the videos that we make here, it is important to support us on Patreon. The link for our Patreon is in the description box down below towards the top. So it's finally happening. It's what, 2000 and... 18 and it's finally history repeating itself because Trump is going to go after video games next. Um, you've been hearing it from the Republican side that uh, they're going to look at its video games as an issue and Trump said it in his own words the other day and said that we're going to be looking at video games and movies. First of all, movies are like some of the least violent they've ever been at this point. Same thing with video games. When I was a kid, we had, like, Duke Nukem, and there was, like, strippers naked you could kill and stuff. And I get Grand Theft Auto, I guess, could still be like that. Um, you don't need to fix any of these video games, okay? You moron. Like, are, are you really going full retard, Trump? Are you really going full retard? Because when I was a kid, they banned Marilyn Manson CDs in Walmart. Walmart banned Marilyn Manson CDs because of the whole Columbine thing. Um, they didn't ban the guns they sold that the kids used, but they banned video games. If guns don't kill people, well, guess what? Video games don't either, okay? Morons. Um, billions of people play video games. In fact, more people probably play video games than own guns. So that is completely a fucking retarded. Um, I'm sorry. Perhaps I'm crazy for thinking that maybe the reason why this guy did something was because he's crazy. And maybe you could have not given him a gun, a gun. You could have not given the crazy guy a motherfucking weapon. If there was the correct background checks in place, you wouldn't be given a gun. And if you're a fucking retard out there who wants to say he would have gotten it anyway, <laughs> well then just make everything legal now. Make rape legal because they will do it anyway. Make drinking of any age legal because they will do it anyway. No, the fact of the matter is we have laws because they fucking work most of the time. Most of the time, the motherfucking laws work. That's why we have them. It deters people. It lessens criminal activity. It is just a motherfucking fact. Now, if you ban... Alcohol, everyone's going to find a way to get it, make it, whatever the fuck else. But it will deter it. It will go down. But you just don't, <laughs> you just don't not do it. You just don't say, oh, you know, fuck, fuck when a guy comes into the gun store who's got a history of being a crazy person. Um, fuck that. We'll just give him a gun and see what happens. No. You just say, no, sir, you can't get a gun. And then force him to have to go buy a gun from somebody on the street in a weird fucking way. Okay? That's what you do. And then here's what else you do. You offer rewards to anybody who turns in somebody who seems suspicious if they can prove something. There's another thing you can do. Okay? Kind of like Nimrod who wrote on, on YouTube, the shooter in Florida, let's just focus on him only. The shooter in motherfucking Florida was had the police come to his house 30 fucking times couldn't carry a backpack to school wrote on on YouTube that he was going to be the best school shooter ever and then despite that and his mental his time in a mental facility despite all that was able to walk in and get a gun and you want to blame that on video games i'm sorry Maybe my fucking Democrat friends are right. Maybe Donald Trump is a retard. Because what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Are you fucking kidding with me right now? Like, this is fucked, bro. What is this, 2018? This is the shit they pulled back in the day with music on CDs. They, had to put a, they wanted to ban music, and then they wanted to put the parental logo on the fucking music. Are these people fucking insane? Why don't you go start another war and send all our kids to war, but then put a parental sticker on the fucking CDs as if that makes a fucking difference? You dumb fucking morons. The people that run this country are fucking retards, and that's all there is to it, okay? Number one, a mental patient got a gun. That's the problem. I'm smart. I'll fucking say it. I'm smarter than all these fucking people. The issue, a mental guy got a gun. That's number one, okay? 
Number one, mental guy, got a gun. Number two, nobody did anything when he was reported. Nobody followed up on certain things that should have been followed up on. And number two, the school never fucking um, told the parents or even told the police or warned people about what this guy was doing there. But nobody cared anyway, especially the FBI. FBI also didn't care when Russia warned us about the Boston bombings. They warned us about those two uh, Russian, uh, about those two guys. Um, it's, it's. I think it, maybe they let it happen. They were running all those military exercises here. You know, people want to talk about false flags and acting and all this stuff. I don't think it was. And there was no actors and stuff like that. It didn't seem. But what I will say is maybe we let it happen, just like 9/11. Seems like we let that happen too. So we could go into Iraq, where there was no weapons of mass destruction, um, to try to get oil. Or to try to get revenge, or basically to try to stir the economy, or something. Or, or to make money for um, the vice president's company, Halliburton, and all the other military companies that the vice president was involved in. Because guess what? When we went to war, we used all those weapons, and he made money. So does anybody else think that this was about money? Something is wrong. And listen... I wouldn't jump to all these conclusions if it wasn't for the fact that it seems like only a fucking retard would let all this stuff happen. So you're either telling me that all these politicians and people are fucking retards or they did it all on purpose to make money. And I'm going to go with making money because I can't possibly believe that these people are actually this retarded. I, 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 I'm not sure. But something smells like shit, okay? Something smells like shit. I, I like facts and proof and, and, and logic. And the logic here is a, a mentally ill guy who had the cops called on him 30 times, who went on YouTube and said he would kill kids in a school and would be the best school shooter, who posted pictures of his guns on Instagram everywhere and made comments about shooting people in the picture on the picture uh, description, I was able to go in and just buy an AR-15. Okay? I'm not blaming the gun. I'm not blaming the NRA. I'm blaming the background check. That's what I'm blaming. You want to go after guns and all these things later on or, or, or something? Fine, whatever. Go for that and we'll see what happens. I am going after the background check. I am absolutely going around. And I think people should stop saying the word gun even. Stop saying gun, and certainly don't say video games, you fucking retard. Um, are video games influential to a weak-minded person who's, who is a monkey see, monkey do, and if he plays about you know, 1,000 hours of Call of Duty, does he get up and walk outside for a second and think, man, it'd be cool if I was out here with my fucking with a gun in the game? Like, kah, 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 kah. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely see that, and that's definitely true. There is a point. There's a valid point there, no doubt about it. Problem is, it's way down on the list. It's way down on the list. Because no matter what games, no matter what fucking psychedelics, no matter what this guy was doing, he walked into a, a, a gun store and was able to get a gun legally because background checks don't mean shit in this country. And of course, we're not talking about rounding up everybody who's got a little special need or a little bit of anxiety or, you know, just, you know, had was in war, you know, served the country and we're rounding up everybody. No, you test people, you evaluate them, just like you evaluate people who get a driver's license. Oh, you know, you're partially blind, but you can still drive a car. That happens. That exists out there. Okay? That's what you do. It's very logical. It makes a lot of sense. Also, can we stop calling uh, this hog kid um, a crisis actor? Can we stop calling people crisis actors who aren't crisis actors? This fucking kid is in Florida. He's in the yearbooks for all the years, the right way. Multiple students showing that. He went to California on a trip. He witnessed an argument at a beach, and he filmed it. And because of that, he got on the news. He used the same name there that he used in Florida. A crisis actor person isn't going to use the same name that they used before somewhere else, and then a pop-up in all the yearbooks of the uh, correct school. Okay? This kid grew up wanting to be a journalist since he was little. He's wanted to be a journalist, a writer. He's wanted to be on TV. This guy has grown up doing this since he was a little kid. Okay? And his dad is an FBI, uh, former FBI agent or something like that. That doesn't mean that he's a crisis actor. It is weird, just like everything else is weird. But the fact of the matter is you cannot show me actual proof of this kid being involved in some other crisis. Okay? 
the, the, there's no video of it. I've been asking people for it. Someone said the beach shooting. There's no beach shooting. The, there was a beach argument, and he videotaped it. And surprise, when the news got there, they wanted to see the video. Why was he taping it? Because he's a journalist. He did what, he did what I would have done. I would have whipped out my camera and been like, I'm going to tape this and document this. That's what his instincts are to document everything, and he wants to be a reporter. So it makes sense that he's been involved in that. There is no, you must show me actual proof that this fucking guy is an actor and, and not just show me a picture of him smiling with all the other survivors or, or, as you say, crisis actors. People are so thirsty to call everything a conspiracy. Oh, yes, everything's a conspiracy. Every shooting's a conspiracy. Yes, every time it happens, it's a conspiracy. It's a fucking conspiracy. There was a third shooter, a fourth shooter, and every time. So you're telling me every time something happens, because that's what it is. I watch people's Facebook pages. Every single shooting is a conspiracy. You can't get around that. So no shootings are real. No shootings are real. And if you're sitting there right now saying, well, some of them are, no, 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 because the other ones have been way more fishy than this one, and this one was still called a crisis because he's in a picture with the kids that were flown in from other other things, and they're all with CNN doing a report thing, and they take a photo all smiling together, and then you go, oh, my God, you see that? Holy shit, and then you circle their faces and put check marks and arrows over them. What the fuck does that mean, that you put a check mark and an arrow and a circle over someone's face? I'm sorry, that doesn't mean anything. Just because a bunch of people who have been in related accidents got together to take a picture before they filmed something for CNN or filmed something for a news report doesn't mean they're crisis actors. I'm sorry. Just like CNN said that Donald Trump stole a hat from a kid. Remember that CNN said that he stole a, ca- a hat from a kid. And then we saw the second video where he clearly throws the, the hat over the people and it, and it lands right in the kid's hands and the kid says thank you and runs away. But CNN tried to play that as like Trump like took a hat from a kid. No, I'm sorry. He, he fucking handed the kid the hat back, you, you lying fucks. So, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit angry, because, and then when I, when I say that, oh, well, obviously you cannot provide me with a factual proof, or some kind of actual proof that this kid, Hogg, or whatever his name is, um, is a crisis actor. You really can't provide me with sufficient evidence. All you can do is say, like, it seems weird, it seems weird, yeah, it does, it seems weird, it sure does. You know what else seems weird? A mental patient got a gun! That seems weird too, doesn't it? But it happens. You know what else seems weird? The president's blaming it on video games. That seems weird to me, doesn't it? So uh, there's my rant for the day, you fucks. I love you guys. Leave a comment down below. You better have listened to this whole fucking thing. If you're going to comment on this video, you better, before you comment, I want to see the words gun cock. That's right, gun cock. And then you can comment. If you comment and you don't write the word gun cock or hashtag gun cock above your comment, then I'm deleting your comment. <laughs> but uh, there's my rant. I think I'm right because I fucking know it. Um, leave it down below. Are video games the reason for school shootings? I don't know, but Donald Trump is going there. We'll find out what happens next in the wonderful world of America full of fucking retarded people. <laughs> Bye. Due to the fact that YouTube has demonetized most of the videos that we make here, it is important to support us on Patreon. The link for our Patreon is in the description box down below towards the top. Plus, you get tons of bonus content over there that you don't get here on YouTube as well. Thank you guys so much for supporting us on Patreon. You guys are the reasons that we keep making these videos.